Let's go, let's go. Come on now, Endorphin Speed 2, 50 mile full review. All right, there it is on your screen. We nailed it, and we nailed it yesterday. But remember yesterday, got a little crazy out here in the studio with the last showing of the house, so thank you for your patience out here. Uh, we did it though, and it's hot. And this is another reason why we're moving Oh, I just need a, I need a, an official, somebody was saying on Discord the other day, a Studio 2 I, I, I think it's Studio 2.0 is going to be the name of the next, but hopefully it's not in an actual shed, but we'll still call it the Studio uh, because it is hot out here right now. So I'm going to take, uh, this is our last uh, Pellegrino from the staging of the house. So I'm going to, I'm working on finishing these off. Hold on one sec. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Whew, okay, so let's dive in. Oh, it just is, oh, it's been a crazy 36 hours, but we're, we're getting this 50 mile review in for all of you. Here we go, a millimeter drop from heel to toe. By the way, I will answer the uh, question in the title of the vlog. Is this a good marathon racing shoe option for 2021? We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so eight millimeter, eight millimeter drop from heel to toe, 35 and a half in the heel, 27 and a half in the forefoot for a higher stack height, 100%. And of course, there is a nylon plate inside that midsole. Women's size eight, men's size nine on your screen. Let's just confirm. I believe we're looking at 7.6 ounces. At least that's, a, that's what I was getting. Um, I have a couple different scales. I have one inside, but I'm getting 7.6 out here in the studio, and I can't resist. There's the Pro 2, first impression of the endorphin. So this is the, so for those that don't know, the Speed 2 is... There, what I would put closer to the tweener category, I'll come back to that in a minute, where you can train in it and race in it. This is the Pro 2, which would definitely be considered Saucony's top of the line marathon road racing shoe or, or half marathon racing shoe. So let's put this on the scale. I think we're looking at about se yeah, seven ounces on the nose. So we're looking at about a half an ounce difference between the Pro, there they are on your screen, between the Pro 2 and the speed two, okay. Moving on to that, oh yeah, and there's the score, 7.75 out of 10. Engineered mesh on the upper. Let's do the heel counter test, okay. A little bit, not much, but a little bit stronger in 2021 compared to 2020. And actually, wow, that's crazy. Okay, so remember, I did take apart the speed one. I wanted to see, so I've taken apart quite a few uh, carbon fiber plate midsoles, but in 2020, I wanted to see what is what is a nylon plate? What is going on inside the midsole? So that's what I did last year. Again, in case you missed that vlog, pretty exciting upper right hand corner if you want to go check it out. So I'm going to say 100% the heel counter gained a little bit of strength from 2020 to 2021, which did bump up the score for the lockdown. There it is on your screen. Just a little better lockdown specifically, I'm going to say through the heel pocket, not necessarily over the top of the foot. All right, about the same really feel over the top. So if you like the lockdown from 2020 in the speed one, you're going to like it in the speed two. Now, I got to say, and people were commenting on Strava about this. I was posting pictures of me uh, with bright socks <laughs> in the shoe and people could see the bright socks through the toe box, which means high breathability. And I felt it. And guess what? It's going to be 93 degrees in Denver today. So the heat is on. It's getting hot all across the United States. And I think the breathability through the toe box for those, you know, middle distance and long, run uh, long runs in the summer months for some of you that, you know, can't run it. Well, maybe you're working at 4 or 5 a.m. and you have to squeeze in a five or six mile run in the middle of the day and it's just hot out. So anyway, I think breathability through the toe box, it did increase from 2020 to 2021 and I'm very, very excited about that. Semi-gusseted tongue. I mean, overall, I'm just, I'm very pleased. Lockdown, overall score. It's a great, great upper. Good job there, Saka Knee. Moving on to the midsole. Okay, that Power Run PB uh, midsole material. p polymer base foam. It's these compressed beads, and I explained the same as in the Pro 2. If I had to describe it, it looks like um, a throwaway or a disposable styrofoam uh, cup or like a styrofoam uh, cooler that you buy from like a seven. It just looks like that to the naked eye. So anyway, and it feels a bit like it too. Okay, let's do the durometer. 
bouncy, so bouncy. And there's my ride and energy return score, solid score, 8.25 out of 10. And I'll just say this shoe did not feel good underfoot at easy day paces. Okay, so for me, eight minutes a mile, 8.15 a mile. And I don't know if it's the nylon plate, let's do this. So you, okay, so it's like, you can feel the plate, but it's nothing like the Meta Speed Sky. Like, it's like carbon fiber, depending on the company, versus nylon plate. And again, that's why I tore this shoe apart, just to see what that nylon plate looks like and looks like and felt like in 2020. Overall, I'm gonna say this, and this will, as far as how I, I will use this shoe, I will come back to that in a minute. So overall, uh, very pleased with the ride and energy return, but not at slower paces. It just felt, a little clunky is the best way to put it. Overall score 7.75 out of 10. It's a it's a special, it, just like in 2020, it's a special, special midsole. XT900 on the outsole, okay? Just the right amount. Not much more needs to be said. It's just spot on. Great job there. Fit, uh, so it fits, I'm going to say, like a racer. It's a, for me, a little more of a snug fit, which I prefer for faster speeds. If you have a really wide forefoot, be aware of that. Uh, yeah, just be aware that it, it, for me, it feels as I'm lacing up and putting my foot inside, it feels a little bit like a racing shoe rather than a training shoe. No issues through the midfoot. Again, great lockdown through the heel pocket. Uh, I think, in, you know, in part because they did increase the strength just ever so slightly for that heel counter. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to say definitely not a wide toe box by any means. Uh, so there's the score, 8 out of 10. Comfort, 7.5 out of 10. It's not a plush upper. It's not meant to be a plush rod, like a plush upper. And again, like that midsole, even though it is a softer durometer, I think it is that nylon plate in there. It doesn't feel my ankle flexion and my, um... I'm gonna say like nothing like the Rebel V2. Nothing like it as far as the, it's like the Rebel V2 is butter. This is a stick of butter that's been in the refrigerator for all day. The Rebel V2, the butter's been out and it's about to melt under your feet, everybody. Oh, speaking of butter, there we go. Little butter my bread in here. Okay, moving on to the positives and drawbacks. Positives has to be, not much has changed from the speed one. Okay, I mean, that's my positive. So good, good job, Saucony. Like, I, you know, you always get a little concerned. I think Saucony's listening, not just to me, but to all of you, to other running YouTube sh reviewers. I'm trying, like very, very few people were disappointed with the Speed 1 in 2020. So don't fix it if it ain't broke, okay? So that's my positive. Drawback has to be that ever so slightly picked up a little like it's a, it's barely the, it's basically the same but ever so slightly picked up a little bit of weight and you know so who knows maybe in 2022 maybe they could I don't know what they could do it's probably something with the heel counter yeah anyway you never want to go in the wrong direction with respect to the weight of the shoe durability prediction 400 okay I wanted to go higher but I'm, I'm a I think I think 400 and I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's too generous. I think you will get about 400 miles for that full benefit from the ride and energy return of the plate, nylon plate inside that p based midsole. Okay, how will I use this shoe? Who is the best for? Now, I think it's not a tweener. I think it's not a tweener. Not an easy day. So I'm just gonna tempo, threshold, long run, um, and then race day. Okay, all right, let's do it right now. Is this a marath an affordable marathon racing shoe in 2021? 100% everybody. So price point, let's get into it right now. $160. Now, you know, this guy, Metaspeed Sky, um, no, $250, right? Am I right? There it is on your screen. I think 200, I almost said 200. This guy is $200, the Pro 2, okay? Carbon fiber plates inside there. Uh, most shoes, in fact, most of the top of the line companies, and what is the Puma DV, which I'm testing right now, the Puma DV8 Nitro Elite, is it 180 or is it 200 or is it, it's not 160? I, there it is on your screen. Bottom line, everyone, $160. This is 100%. Could be a racing, like a, people, 
People in 2010 would be doing backflips for a shoe like this to race marathons in just a mere decade ago. Even frankly, five years ago when the 4%, when the 4% was coming onto the scene, everybody. So all I gotta say, $160, if you wanna pinch some pen, and that's brand new. So who knows what the speed one is gonna cost. Let's hope it goes down, okay? And actually, let's just do it now. If I had to, if I had, if I had to just buy one, Speed one, pinch those pennies. I'm telling you, there's some nice little tweaks, but if the speed one drops to let's say 140 or 145, I don't know if it's gonna drop at all. And you might not be able to find a version, okay? So actually, again, they're all linked down below in the description. Like you might, you might wanna just stock up on the speed one and wait for 2022 to see if this shoe, like it's a great shoe. Both are great, great shoes, speed one, speed two. Um, but if I've had, if you want to save 20, 30 bucks, who knows? Hopefully the speed one price is about to drop, but there's no guarantees. I don't know if there's a guarantee that it's going to, I don't know all the decision-making that goes into the economics of running shoe sales. Okay. Other shoes. Oh yeah. There's my score. 8.25 out of 10. And the reason it's a high, it's a good score is because again, you can race in it and train in it. Oh man. So, so good. Okay. Other shoes to buy. Um, let's see. So I gotta be a little careful. It's always, a, so I'm gonna say speed one, okay? Mach four, okay, Mach four. Uh, Brooks Hyperion Tempo and, uh, but now the Rebel V2, the reason it's on, it made the list, it's a totally different feel underfoot. But again, the Rebel V2 is also, you could race in it and train in it for shorter distances. So 5K, 10K versus half marathon, marathon. That's why the Rebel V, uh, two made the list and uh, with the speed, but it is a different feel underfoot, just so you know. This one is more firm and a little more, um, yeah, just a little more responsive than the Rebel V. Two shoe quick specs on your screen. Soak it in one more time. Okay, eight millimeter drop, engineered mesh, power run PB midsole, butter to the bread, and oh man, I think we, I think we nailed it as far as the score. 7.82 for the 50 mile full review score, 7.82 out of 10. It was close. It was close to the eights. It was close to the eights, but I felt it like out there testing it. Um, it's a great shoe, but is it the best shoe? That is, that's why we need a running shoe matrix very, very soon, everybody. There you go. Comment of the day goes out to the rain runner, the, this is from yesterday talking about moving and oh man. So, and rain runner, this is what it's all about. This vlog encapsulates the emotional roller, co roller coaster and chaos of buying and selling and moving from a house to a new house. I love that you and true love find ways to laugh through it all. Congrats. Thank you, rain runner. It's like, isn't that what life is all about? When life gets, when life sends you lemons and it was not lemons. Like le this was an amazing weekend for selling the house, but living in the hotel for four days, we were going a little crazy. Like it was a little bit of it. It was a little crazy, but you got to laugh through it. You just got to laugh at yourself and be like, okay, the kids are going to push themselves down the hallway. Cause we got nothing left. Like we got, we are, we are toast. We are spent and we, we're just going to let the kids have fun and do what they do. So anyway, sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself a little bit to get through life here on this earth. Everyone question of the day, will you buy the speed one again? Or for the first time, the speed two or pass and just wait for 2022. Okay. So will you buy the speed one, the speed two, or pass. All right. That's the question of the day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We will toss it to when I opened up the original speed one. Okay. So if you missed that vlog, you know, many, many new subscribers. Thanks for being here, by the way, hitting that subscribe button. Um, you may have missed that vlog from 2020, 2020. All right. There it is. There it is right there, right there, right there. Onward and upward. Keep turning that door now. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.